Cam. Hey, Coach. Um, both Tua and Fitz can move around a little bit. Do you feel that uh, Tua presents a different challenge in, in the movement? And because he's a young quarterback, do you feel you, your defense could be more intricate against him with your scheme and what have you? Well, um, he does. He's, he's a little bit more elusive, I would say. His athleticism back there, uh, he can make people miss inside close quarters. Uh, Fitz was, was a guy that if he saw something uh, that he knew the way a defense was playing, he would try to take advantage of it with his feet. Uh, I don't know. Is that a lot of tape to see that? Go, we went back to college a little bit and watched Tua a little bit as well. But, uh, you know, he, we, we're well aware of it. We have not done a real good job. Remember, I talked to you up until the bye week where quarterback scrambles. They got some yards on us, and we got hurt in the red zone with Carr, uh, you know, on a big third down where he scrambled. Coverage was good, but uh, – you know, we didn't make a play on him scrambling. So I, we're going in with the same mindset this week with Tua that we got to do a really good job of keeping him contained, not letting him get space within our rush. As far as the different looks, uh, that, that's every week. You know, you try to give quarterbacks different looks. I think he knows where to go with the ball. Uh, he understands things, uh, you know, the coverages he sees. But, you know, you, you, you line up and you try to give quarterbacks different looks in di different situations. Um, realistically, coach, the, your cornerbacks can only stick to a, a receiver so long before the quarterback starts to scramble and kind of makes uh, creates their own space there. What's your philosophy or if you can share your philosophy on your cornerback sticking to a receiver when the play breaks down or the quarterback is, is back there trying to create more time? Sure. Uh, you know, on the particular one that I think you're talking about where I just mentioned with Casey, you know, we, we called a coverage and the initial coverage was really good. I thought everybody fit up the routes very well and it forced the quarterback to hitch. We lost contain and then all bets are off. And then it's really just find the man in your zone and lock onto him and play him for the rest of the down. And, um, you know, that's how you do it. And whoever the free player is, when he crosses the line of scrimmage, come up and help and keep it from being an extended play. So, yeah, initially the coverage was really good, really tight coverage on it. It's just when they extend the play like that, you have to turn, really man turn, find your man in your zone and play him through the rest of the down. And that's where there's a little bit of a breakdown. Got you, Coach. Thank you.